Hey guys, so recently if you watched my Q&A video, one of the questions someone asked me was have I ever met a celebrity? And I said I had met so, so many celebrities because I go to a lot of conventions. Um, so I decided to make a video of all of my autographs, kind of tell you about them, tell you what the people were like. I do have some photos, I've got some little video clips. Um, a lot of these I probably wasn't supposed to film, a lot of them say like no pictures, no videos. So I sneakily did these, um, hopefully the people don't mind that much. Um, but yeah, this is probably going to be a very, very long video, so I'm going to go as quick as I can through them because as you can see, I have a lot of them. Um, I will just kind of tell you what I know, what I remember. Some of them I don't remember that much, but we're going to go through them. So this is my Ultra Pro Collector's Album that I bought to keep them all in so that they stay as nice as possible because there is a lot of money's worth of autographs in here and they are all in these um, like archive protecting folders again which was stupidly expensive. Now if you haven't seen other videos where I've got autographs or if you don't follow me on Instagram anything like that you're gonna see my real name now because I get these signed to me, a lot of them. Some people don't sign them with your name, which I find a little bit rude. I'm not really sure why celebrities don't want to put your name on them. If anything, you'd kind of assume they'd wanna put your name so you don't sell them. But some people say no to that. So some of these don't have my name on. Um, but yeah, that was just a warning. If you don't know my name, it is on these. So they are all in order of when I got them from. We're starting from the very earliest going to my latest one. I'll probably take these out actually instead of holding up the whole file because it's super heavy. So let me open this. Okay. So the first one I have is Vern Troyer. Now if you haven't seen him before, he's in a lot of films like Austin Powers and stuff like that. Um, it says, Lois, you complete me with his autograph up here. He seemed a lot more like shy than I was expecting, um, very quiet, very like polite and nice and everything, but I just kind of expected him to be more confident and loud and stuff. Um, I was super lucky to meet him and get this because unfortunately he has passed away now, but that was the first one that I got. So the next one I have, I think this one, he's called Lawrence Harvey. Some of these I don't remember their real names, I'm not going to lie, but... Um, yeah, so this is from The Human Centipede. If you haven't seen this film, I wouldn't recommend it. I'm not going to lie. It's a pretty gross, rubbish horror film, but I saw him and I had to meet him because it's just one of those. I do have a picture with him, so I will put that here now. Um, yeah, nice man. Very intelligent. He was telling us about his like new things that he was doing and everything. He was cool, but... Um, a bit of a weird one, I would say. Next, um, this one isn't one that I paid for. I do have another of this person later on in the album, but this is one that I got from a BAM box, and this is Skeet Ulrich from Scream. Um, this one is a little damaged, unfortunately, because it was in a photo frame and it got stuck, but I had that one anyway. Next, I have um, Danny Trejo. So this one says, Machete will text you to Lois. Love you, Danny Trejo. He was so, so cute. Absolutely loved him. I don't think I've got a video meeting him. I definitely have pictures though. If I do have a video, I will also put that here now. But um, yeah, really sweet. He was signing some machetes in the back while we were waiting for this to be done. We were only waiting like five minutes, but he gave us a free photo anyway, just to like, be nice which was really cute so that is that one We have Eileen Dietz from The Exorcist. This one just says, to Lois, beware Eileen Dietz. Um, I do have a little video of her. She was really, really sweet as well. Just to throw this out there, I have a very obnoxious laugh in a lot of these videos. I don't know why, but I do it on like 
all of these videos where I'm meeting famous people, I seem to just get nervous and have this weird laugh. So please ignore that. Um, but yeah, lovely lady, very sweet. That one is Eileen Dietz. <laughs> Next, we have this person. I've forgotten his name. Um, Tyler Main, I think it is. It says, Lois, run like hell, girl. And this is the Michael Myers from Rob Zombie's Halloween, I believe. Um, I've got so many of these and I've met so many of them that I honestly don't really remember what they're from half the time But he was lovely again. I've got a little video clip of him. So I will play that here now, but that I think is Tyler Main from Child's Play. This is Alex Vincent as an adult now, obviously. It says, wanna play up here. He was very, very sweet. I have posted this video before in a uh, convention video. Everyone said he was very flirty. At the time, I didn't really get that vibe from him, but I guess you can see it here in the video now. And I've got some pictures and stuff, so I'll post everything about him for this one now. have Charlie Hunnam from Sons of Anarchy. I've never watched the whole of Sons of Anarchy but I just really wanted to meet him because um, at the time I thought he was very good looking. It says very best wishes at the top. He was like hidden away in a tent. If you weren't paying to see him you could not look at him even. Um, they were super strict. There was no pictures, no videos. I got told off for trying to sneakily take a picture. Um, Super, super friendly though, very, very sweet, very well-spoken and polite and stuff. Not really what I was expecting. In my brain, I was expecting this look. He was like in a suit and very posh. Um, but yeah, that is Charlie Hunnam. Then we have Rebecca Mada Maida. I'm not really sure what her last name is, but she's in Once Upon a Time as um, the Wizard of Oz, which says, stay wicked. 
Again, she was very, very sweet, very kind and polite and all that stuff. Um, I think I've got a video of this one, so if I do, I will post it here now, but um, I don't remember, so I think I do. We'll see. <laughs> have a vampire diaries one i don't remember what his name is i'm so so sorry i'll put it here on the screen now it's very squiggly so i don't remember but um he is in vampire diaries it says cheers with some kisses again he was very sweet i didn't expect his accent to be so strong i thought it was kind of like a fake put on accent in vampire diaries but apparently it's real so um, again, I've got a little video clip of this one, so I'll put it here now. Oh, that, was, that was quick. Hello there. Hello. How are you? I'm fine, how are you? Good. <laughs> Good it was <day>. raining. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nice one. Of course, darling. Oh, this one. This one. <laughs> What's your name, darling? Lois. Lois. <laughs> Lovely. Lovely yeah. name? Yeah. Lois, like this? Yeah. <laughs> Where are you from? Manchester. Oh, you're not from? Where are you from? I was born in Paris, but I'm, my mum's Scottish, my dad's French. Nice. So I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a confused a mess. mess. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Next, we have um, Dr. Cullum from Twilight. I think his name is Peter something. I'll put it on screen here again now. Again, very nice, polite man. Um, didn't have much conversation with him as far as I can remember. Sometimes they're not very talkative. Sometimes you stay with them for like 20 minutes. It depends on the cue, depends on if they really want to talk to you. Um, sometimes it's just a hi, bye kind of situation. But yeah, he was very nice. So that is Dr. Cullen, Peter something, I think. Um, then we have this one. So... I think this was from a box. I've not met this person. Um, I think this is the original Michael Myers. I don't remember what he's called, but yeah, this is from a box. I, I don't know about this one. I got this one from a subscription. Next, we have this one who plays Gage in Pet Cemetery. I do like this picture. Obviously, it's not a real photo. It's like an art print and it's signed down here by Miko or Maiko. Not sure what his last name is. Again, I'll put it here on screen now. I got this from a subscription box as well, so not actually met him. Then we have another um, Alex Vincent one. I have met him as you've seen earlier, but this is another subscription box one. I just kept this because I thought it was a cool print, honestly. Probably don't need it, but um, yeah, I have met him, so I kept it. Then next we have James Jude Courtney. He is the newest Michael Myers in the new Halloweens, Halloween Ends, Halloween Kills, all of those. He was very, very nice. Um, I met him in London and it was literally like 40 degrees inside. I've never sweat so much in my whole life. So I do have a picture with him, but it's an awful picture. I'll post it here now anyway, just because I don't really care. But um, yeah, he was very nice. I, I don't think I got a video. If I did, I'll post it. I don't think I did. I think I just got pictures, but it was a hot, hot time. Um, but yeah, this one just says, thanks, Lois, at the top. Um, next, we have Matthew Lillard. Um, he is in Scooby-Doo. He's also in Scream. I regret getting this photo, but I didn't like the Scream photos that he had on the table at the time. Um, yeah, it just says Lois, Zoinks, Matthew Lillard. I do have a video of this one. I was with a friend at the time though, and he was talking to him way more than me. There was no interaction really with me, but I'll put the video here now anyway, just if anyone wants to see him. Hi. Hi. <laughs> 
<laughs> so excuse. Oh my god. Crazy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It's pretty good. It's pretty good. He is good. He is. See, he should have been in acting instead of he fighting. Is good. Yeah, yeah. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. I agree with that. Next, we have a Jason one. So I think this is CJ Graham. Um, it says Jason lives. He's one of the people that won't sign your name. Not really sure why. Um. He was nice, he was fine, not much conversation there. I did meet him later with my boyfriend at a different convention where he wanted his autograph and I did sneak a video for that one. So I will put that video here now, but it isn't the same video as when I got mine, but he's the same guy, so I'm gonna put it here now anyway. All right, so here's the question. <laughs> Is she yours? Yeah. How'd you get so lucky? <laughs> Second question, <laughs> that hurt? Just a little bit. That hurt more. Did it? What? Oh, hell no. <laughs> but that's why she likes you. Now you get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you ain't got money, but you got... Mm -hmm. I'm a tattoo or something. I'm yeah. Hey, look at you. You're embarrassed. <laughs> Shit's coming through. I've met you before. Look at me, huh? I know. So what up, bro? Nothing, nothing. How that's you doing, right? Yeah. Did you see your tattoo artist? Yeah. Oh, so, yeah. Double. You do a lot of things, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't sometimes think about it. Oh, oh, oh no, I thought I always look behind them look down, but not. <laughs> I look at people when they're in line and stuff, look at their tattoos, and oh, yeah. if they get their eyelashes done, or they get their eyebrows microbladed. Yeah. My daughter does eyelashes, so I'm like, always gotta look. Oh, yeah, you gotta look now, isn't it? Yeah, you know, in the old days, you go, hey, I like your shoes. Now you gotta look at your eyelashes and eyebrows. Oh, yeah, you got nice makeup. See? <laughs> Yeah, what can I do for you, my brother? Uh, cool. So, uh, uh, this one's signed. You got a selfie for this one. You got it, bro. <laughs> well, I appreciate you coming in. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. <laughs> and you too, since we've been before. <laughs> yeah, I met you in London. That was a fun show. Well, can you just take it? Well, I appreciate you guys very much. Next, we have a kind of funny story one, I guess. So this is Tony Cesare, I think his name is. It says, uh, to Lois, best of luck. Now, he is the stunt man that plays Ghostface. He's also in a million other films. If you've watched horror films, you will have seen this stunt man. He is the Stay Puffed in Ghostbusters. He's in Nightmare on Elm Street. He's in literally hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of films. He's like the cutest little old man. I've got a picture, I'll put it here now. Um, and we kind of just went to him because there was no one at his table and I felt so, so bad. And it's kind of cool that he was in all these films. He was so cheap. It was like 20 pounds. So I went to him, I got this. Then about five minutes later, we were still sort of stood around his table. We hadn't really moved very far. And he called me back over and he was like, come over here, I've got something for you. And he actually signed another one for me. And it says, to Lois, you are hot. Tony. So um, I got two from him. I wouldn't take it as creepy. I didn't take it as creepy. It was fine. It was funny. Um, I'm not sure what he was trying to do with that. He was very old, but I love it. I love that I got these. I got it for free. He literally gave it me. Very cute. Very nice old man. So um, that is Tony Cesare, I think pronounced. I wanted to ask you about Charles Play though. What were you in Charles Play? Charles Play, I set the little guy up to do a fire burn. They originally hired me to do the fire burn in Child's Play after I did Ghostbusters. Uh, so Ed Gale, a little dwarf, I taught him how to do a fire burn and set him up to do the fire burn in Child's Play. Oh. Yeah, awesome. I said they were going to make the, all the furniture three times its size so I could do the burn. And then they said, well, this guy wants to do it if you'll teach him how to do it. So I told them, nice. I didn't think that he'd take much work away from me. So I taught him how to do a fire burn. Nice. Oh, wait, you this lady. Which one are you going to get? Fingers off. Matthew Lillard. 
Jakobs good, didn't he? Mm -hmm. Matthew Lillard. Fuck. Next, we have Lana Perilla, I think her name is, from Once Upon a Time. She is the evil queen. I absolutely love Once Upon a Time. Again, she's one that wouldn't write my name. Um, she was very, very sweet, though. There must be some kind of reason that they won't do that. I just don't know what it is. But, yeah, she also looked beautiful in person. I was expecting that this was very, like photoshopped or like edited on film but she is stunning in person so i can't remember if i have a video of this or any photos or anything if i do i'll put it here now but i don't know if i do or not but that was lana next we have the one and only wednesday adams um christina ricky it says to lois xo <laughs> um she at least signed my name i think she was next to lana like next door to her um i do have a little video clip of this one it's a little kind of sketchy because i was trying to sneakily do it but yeah she was really sweet i think she said that my name was nice or something if i remember correctly but yeah very very sweet again super pretty in person photographs film is different not really We have probably one of what I would say was my worst autograph experiences and that is Ian Summerholder from Vampire Diaries who plays Damon. Um, I was so so excited to meet him. I waited hours and hours to meet him um, past when the convention even shut because he stayed longer to meet people that had been waiting. It cost a lot. I think it was like 80, 90 pounds, something like that. And when I got up there, he didn't really speak. He kind of just said hi. He wasn't the nicest. He wasn't that friendly. He wasn't that polite. He was in the middle of like shouting at someone because they turned his fan off and it was hot. Um, he had security guards with him at all times who were really, really grumpy. It was just a weird, like, not nice experience. He said, hi, he signed my picture, he said, bye, and that was kind of it. So, um, sort of wish that I hadn't spent like 90 pounds meeting him, but it says you rock at the top and then his autograph again, he wouldn't sign names, so. Ian Summerholder, everyone. <laughs> Do you know she doesn't have seen any tears or something? Yeah. Do you know she has yeah. She turns me, she says, my hands are sweaty. Yeah. Yeah. Are you going to, do you want a tissue? Yeah. Oh, that's a show. Yeah. Got time for What's that? No, I said she's been waiting for this moment for years. I just want, I'm such a good friend, I want to see her cry. Yeah, you, you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Just waiting for her to see her. <laughs> Do you work at Walker's Copper? I can't wait for you on She's like, no. Have you got a twin? Remember faces. She's fine. Next we have a another Jason. If I remember correctly, I think this is Kane Hodder. I'm not 100% though. I've met a few Jason ones, so they kind of get mixed up to me. But if this was Kane, he was one of the nicest ones that I've met. Um, the lady that was sat at the table with him actually recognized me. So I was speaking to her beforehand and he sort of overheard that conversation. So we had a little chat about that, about YouTube and stuff. He was super, super nice. If this isn't him... I'm pretty sure it is. I can't tell from this autograph, but I'm pretty sure that this is Kane. Um, if it isn't him, I'm sure this person was nice too, but I'm going to put that video here now for Kane Hodder anyway. Hello. She said she recognised me from something. Oh. Can I call you Lolo? You can call me whatever you want. <laughs> nice. 
Hi guys. Next we have Lisa and Louise Burns, I think they're called. The Shining Twins, anyway. Um, it says, come and play with us, Lois, forever and ever and ever, across the top. Um, these were so, so cute. I think I got a picture with them, might have got a video, not 100%. I'll put what I have here in a second anyway, but they were so sweet. Um, they were quite expensive, if I remember correctly, but they are the Shining Twins, I guess, so quite a classic. And I think that their parents were sat with them, and these are like older ladies now. These are like 50, 60, something like that. And I'm pretty sure that they had their parents there with them, which is adorable. So yeah, they were very cute, and I'll put what I have here of them now. Next, we have Emily Perkins from It, the original It. Um, she played Bev. It says, to Lois, my heart burns there too. Uh, not much conversation from her. She was very nice, very friendly, but she kind of just said hi and bye, which is fine. Don't love this picture. She didn't have great ones there, but that's okay. So that is my Bev It autograph. Um, next, we have Tobin Bell from Saw. So um, it says, always believe not really sure why but he was very nice he was very very shy um apparently he asked the event organizers to be moved because he had such bad anxiety which kind of showed i feel like um when you met him he didn't really speak very much and i totally get that that is totally fine i feel like i'd be the same um so he was nice and everything but not really that much conversation i'm not sure if i've got a video or anything of this if i do again i will put it here now this is going to be the longest video ever but um, yeah, that was Tobin Bell. Just a big, big John in yeah. Next, we have the first Jason, Ari Lehman, I think he's called. I have actually met him, but I've not re got his autograph because I already had it. Gary bought me this as one of our first presents when we met, um, like a framed version. So. That is what this one is, but I haven't actually like spoken to him or anything. He's got like really long curly hair. He looks really cool. Next we have this one. I can't actually remember what she's called. I think she's called Karen something. She's from Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. She's Hillary in that. Um, it says to Lois with love. She was super sweet. This was just a really random one I got. I feel like I tried to get very horror ones, but I saw her and I was like, I just kind of want to meet her. Um, I feel like everyone has seen Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, so that is that one. Next, we have Sabrina herself, Sabrina the Teenage Witch. I think she's called Melissa Joan Hart. Um, it says, Dear Lois, all my love. Again, she was very, very sweet. Um, I didn't love all the photos she had on the table for this one, so she was trying to kind of like help me pick a good one and stuff. Very friendly, very nice. Um, I don't know if I've got any pictures or videos of this. I think I did have a video of this, but I hated how I looked, so I deleted it, which is just stupid. I should have kept it, but if I do still have it, I will try and put it here now, but that is Sabrina. Next is one of my favourite ones, but not one I've actually met, and that is Nancy from The Craft, Feruza Bulk. Now, she doesn't fly, apparently, like she won't go on a plane, so I'm probably never going to meet her, so I actually sent off for this to be signed. Um, comes with like an authenticity thing and all that stuff. It says, to Lois, we are the weirdos, mister. Much love, Feruza, here. Um, when I sent this to her, because I printed this picture, this is the picture I wanted. When I sent this to be signed, I actually also sent a picture of my tattoo of her that I have on my leg, just because I kind of wanted her to see it. And she wrote a cute little post-it note back. I've kept that in here because also it's from her it says nice tattoo you seem very sweet stay safe and well love Feruza. so that's really cute i love that she's seen it um i'll put that picture here now of what my tattoo looks like in case anyone's not seen it but yeah not met her but do love this one though Next, we have another craft lady, and that is Rachel True. Um, she signed this as Rochelle, which I've never had before. She signed it actually as her like film name, but it says, Lois, Rem, we are the weirdos, mister. So I'm assuming that means remember we are the weirdos, mister. She was probably my top three people that I've met. 
um literally so 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 sweet she had all the time in the world for me she literally met me like three four times because the pictures that i was taking were really bad and i kept going back like i'm so sorry please can we take new ones because i love you so much and i don't want them to be bad pictures um i did have a video of this it's not really got sound though i think it's got like a background noise I might just post it anyway if you can see anything i'm not too sure i might put background music over it i don't know but um whatever i have with her i've definitely got photos i will post them here they're not the best photos ever but she was amazing so if you ever get the chance to meet her i 100 percent would loved her have tim capello from the lost boys he is the sexy sax man um it says to lois i still believe tim capello he was also the sax player for tina turner he plays his uh i still believe song at pretty much every for the love of horror convention i've been to so i'm not sure if i've actually got a video of that whole song if i do i might put that here now if not i will put the link down below to it because i don't want this video to get claimed but we'll see um yeah he was very nice he is so energetic and so cute and friendly i love him he wears like a little leather like strappy thing he's very cute i like him so that is tim capello what's that that's, that's the two that you said you said two of i those. did say two yeah i did say yeah. two not too many people no 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 <laughs> um would you want me to uh, personalize it to you? Yeah, please, yeah. My name is Gary. Gary? Yeah, with two R's. Two R's. <laughs> Son of a... <laughs> That's it. There you go. Perfect. <laughs> All right. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Gary. Thank Thanks, you. Lois. Thank you. Next, we have someone. I don't remember what he's called um yeah not sure i will put his name here on the screen now i don't remember what he's called but he plays ghost face in scary movie so not the real ghost face it says lois chilling killing ghost face and he put little blood on the ghost face which is really cute um this one was a weird one for me he didn't want to just sign autographs on their own you had to pay extra for a photo as well which i didn't want because it was literally double the price um luckily my boyfriend was getting a picture with him and an autograph so i could add on an extra autograph but it was very awkward and it was very weird i do have the whole video clip again i'll put that here now so you can see the interaction he was super nice but his rules were weird and i didn't love that so that is this guy. Cool. Yeah. yeah, cool. There you go. They're together. They're together. We're the kind of this place. Yeah. I can, get, I can do a what's up or a, or a chillin' want? killin'. Uh, whichever. I don't mind. <laughs> I think you're more of a chillin' killin' yeah. thing. What's your name? Lois. L O I N. I'm like the Bob Ross of <laughs> autographs. Okay. Just happy accidents. <laughs> Little bit of there, don't, you can never go wrong with too much blood. It's like Chicago Gray. Next, we have Skeet Ulrich again. This is the one that I had earlier with the ghost face that I got in a box that was a bit damaged. Then I actually met him myself. It says, to Lois, mmm, corn syrup, Billy. And then he signed it. 
Um, he was very nice, very friendly, very normal. Um, his queue was hours and hours and hours long. I think we waited, not gonna lie, about four hours to meet him. Um, by that time, it was the end of the convention and the car park was shut in and we literally had to run and I cried because my feet hurt so bad. So this isn't a great memory for me, but he as a person was very, very nice. Matt, 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 change the f there you go dear, sorry you had to hear that. Oh, that's alright, thank that's you. Right. <laughs> Next we have this one, which I think is Joe Dante, Dante from um, Gremlins, a director, I think. This was from a box, um, not met him, but I thought it was cute, so I kept it. So that one is a box one. And then last, but definitely not least, I will cover the chest area of this so no one complains. We have Bei Ling from The Crow. Um, I love her. This is the one that in The Crow, she like eats the eyeballs and stuff. I forget what she's called now, but she was the most energetic woman I have ever seen in my whole entire life. She was literally like dancing, running around, crazy. Loved her. I do have pictures with her. They're not great, but I'll post them anyway. It says, to Lois with love, Bay Ling. And then there's something else down here. I don't know if this is like a different autograph or whatever, but she was so sweet and she was so, so pretty as well. I think she's a little older. I think she's like in her 50s and she looked younger than I did. Like she looks amazing. So that was the last autograph that I have. Um, so yeah, that was all of my autographs and people I'd met and everything like that. A lot of them obviously were in person. A couple were subscription box ones. Um, hopefully you liked all the pictures and the little video clips and everything as well. I know that this was a really, really, really long video. So I apologize if it was a little too long, but I just wanted to make it more like personal and interested and stuff, adding the little clips in. So hopefully people enjoyed that. Let me know which your favorite was down below. If you've met any of these people, if you've had any different experiences with them, um, let me know who you've met as well or who you would love to meet. And I hope you liked this video. If you did, please subscribe and I will see you soon. Bye guys.